Hello everyone, today I have a FLIR Lepton pocket cam with a shutterless FLIR Lepton thermal imager. Here is a close-up view of the thermal imager. This imager has a resolution of 80 by 60 pixels and is smaller than a dime. The pocket cam has a 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp lithium polymer battery attached to the front and on the back, a 1.5 inch LCD screen. On the bottom, we have a micro USB port used for charging and connecting to the graphical user interface, or GUI for short, which I will show you later. You can also see the charging indicator lights here. Here is a micro SD card slot used to save images. On the side, we have three buttons, color palette, which has four available color palettes, lock, and calibrate. I will demonstrate the color palette button later on in the video. On the top, we have an image capture button, short press for still capture, long press for rapid capture. And on the bottom, we have the power switch. I am a bit thirsty, so let me pour myself a nice cold glass of Group Gets Water. As you can see, the temperature difference is very pronounced and easy to see. I will cycle through the four available color palettes. White Hot, Black Hot, Black Hot Iron Bow, and my personal favorite, Iron Bow. Here I will demonstrate the image capture function. Now I will plug in the pocket cam to my computer and show you the GUI. Now I will launch the pocket cam GUI software. To note, FLIR has updates planned for the GUI coming soon, and regarding the SDK, there is not one available at this time, but the MCU is a PIC and is not fuse locked, so reverse engineering wouldn't be impossible. You just press Find Camera and Start. Here is a thermal image video of my computer. As you can see, the air-cooled graphics card is very hot, while the water-cooled processor is much cooler. This FLIR Pocket Cam is exclusively available in single quantities with and without the Lepton Thermal Imager. It is a great platform to evaluate various Leptons in a small portable form factor. Available now at groupgets.com. Okay, that's it for this video.